Andrew, north of here in Fort Collins, Colorado, writes to me, Hi Paul, I'm just starting my journey into the wonderful world of headphones, and I'm curious how the small drivers found in headphones can produce the large wavelengths needed for bass notes. Uh, how can such small drivers generate low frequencies that have wavelengths of multiple feet? Is it a trick? Or are headphones actually producing full range sound from small drivers? Yes. Headphones actually produce full range sound from small drivers. In fact, the Audis headphones that we have up there actually are they reproduce pretty well 10 hertz notes, which I don't have a pair of speakers that does that. And they have tiny little drivers. So how do they do that? Well, a couple of ways. And a couple of things to understand. First off, loudspeakers that make low frequencies, effectively make low frequencies, have to have a pretty tight seal. That's part of the secret to it. Also, the driver is only, what, a couple of inches from your ear, so they don't have to play very loud. And unlike a speaker, which is trying to fill a room, okay. So those are the two keys that you want to keep in mind. But now to the bigger question, and, and we get asked this a lot, and it's a little confusing. How can a speaker that's one inch, eight inch, you know, whatever size driver, just take an eight inch woofer, probably have one around, you know what an eight inch woofer looks like. And the same, the same will be true to your question about the little one. How can an eight inch driver make a 20 hertz waveform? Now understand 20 hertz has the equivalent waveform of about 50 feet. So that's one big pressure wave, right? How, does, how, do, you, how do you make a 50 foot something out of an eight inch something? Well, part of the problem is, I think, is um, in the way that we view these, these waves. So if you think about an 8-inch disc trying to make a 50-foot something, it seems kind of impossible. The first thing to remember, whether it's the headphones or the other one, is that a, a driver is a piston, and it moves in and out like this, pressurizing and depressurizing the air in front of it. Right? So imagine, even though the wave in reality is, is making this large thing, think of it, th it's easier to think of it this way. That 50 foot wave is pushing in this direction. It's 50 foot long only in terms of the speed of sound. In other words, well, I'm not going to get into that. that. That gets too complicated. I'm trying to keep this simple. So just imagine this piston is pushing back and forth and at 20 hertz, it's doing it slow enough that it pushes out about 50 feet and then pulls back about 50 feet. Does that, does that help uh, sort of uh, uh, understand that? Now, in your ear, of course, we don't got 50 feet, right? That's okay. That, that, that figure of a 50-foot waveform is confusing because, again, that has to do with the speed of sound and how, how long, uh, you know, it, it takes to move it if you just divide the speed of sound, which is, what, 600 miles an hour or so? I don't remember. Um, you'll get those numbers. But in, in headphones, you know, all we really need to do, and, and think of it this way, is to move our ear at the same time as the driver. So we're pushing air, pressurizing inside of this sealed area on my head and pushing my eardrum back and forth 20 times a second or 10 times a second. And my brain is going to say, oh, yep, that is 10 hertz. I hear that and I interpret that as a low frequency. So simple. I hope that helps your understanding. But yeah, you, you are hearing the low frequencies. It's just not playing very loud. You pull them off, you can hardly hear them, right? Okay. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.